Okay, so I'm about to switch the bits in the drill again, making some progress on said fence. So, quick little arithmetic problem. How many screws does Patrick need to buy all together? So, there's 58 pickets, and in each picket, this is a picket, by the way. They sometimes call these things dog ears, like here, but I'm gonna have four screws in each one. So that's four times 58. We could quickly multiply four times 58 by multiplying four times 60, and then 60, what's the difference between 60 and 58? Well, 58 plus two is 60, and we're doing this four times, so two times four is eight, so multiply 60 times four and take away eight, but six times four is 24. Uh, we're just adding a zero, so 60 times 4 is 240, minus 8 is 232. And then I'm doing this method. I'm not sure what this method is called, uh, but I'm doing the kind of rectangle little board underneath instead of doing the brackets and putting in four screws. I put in two here, and then I'm going to put another two down below so if i do that on this side and then uh, once i have a two by four up here that's four four times four because there's four screws in each of the four little panels then uh, which are just six inches roughly sawed off from a um, two by four which by the way i know at uh, the school where i have worked for the last year or actually more than that doesn't have wood shop, but I really should have taken wood shop in school because I tell you what, it's easy to cut off like seven feet or so, but when you're using a hand skill saw to get like six inches off of a board by yourself, you know, it's a miracle I still have all 10 fingers. I think I have all 10 fingers and 10 toes. Anyway, um, got that. That, that's beside from the point. Got four of these boards, so that's four times four because there's four screws in each one and obviously four in there. Four times four is 16. There's going to be five different sections, so that's uh, 16 times five. 16 times two is 32. 16 times three is 48. 16 times four is 64. That's why four squared is 64 and four cubed is 64 16 times 4 is 64 add 16 you get 80 so 16 times 5 is 80 and then i'm clearly going to do two screws over here and i'm doing screws by the way because uh you know i don't even live here i'm doing this project for my mother and her dog my adopted sister sasha so point being uh uh, my mother wants screws, not nails. Nails would be a lot quicker, but screws are kind of fun. Anyway, so two screws here, and then obviously there will be a two by four up here, this one, and that'll be two screws up top. So that's uh, four times two is eight, because there's four screws connecting each of the panel boards. So that's eight, and there's five sections, so eight times five is 80. So that's 20 plus 80, which is 120. 120 plus 132. 132 plus 100 is, or 232 plus 100 is 332. And then add 20, that's 332, 342, 352. So that's how many screws Patrick needs to complete this project. And uh, anyway, the other moral of the story is See, it's been a while since I did any project like this. Last time I think it was helping my dad when I was a kid build a fence in the house in Truckee. And, you know, it's just like doing math. You got to do it. You can't watch stupid YouTube videos. And you can, uh, especially by people more talented than myself. But honestly, you're not going to get as much out of it until you do it. So I could watch all the YouTube videos on making a fence, but I have to do it. And got a little frustrated because... You know, I drilled in the hole and then started uh, and then switched the bit so I could put the screw in and it wouldn't go in. And I realized, oh, Patrick needs to, this guy needs to screw the hole all the way through this first board and at least a little ways into the 4x4. 
So, you live and learn. You figure out things as you go. The same thing happens with math. I don't, you know, we can call that an SEL lesson, a social emotional learning, a life learning, emotional IQ, about just figuring things out, taking a deep breath as you go through the motions. Lots of adults have problems with that, you know. You just got to take a deep breath, whether it's math, you're trying to write, you know, a memo for some important thing in business or you're writing your magnum opus, which, by the way, that means you're writing your great book, the great novel of all time. You're writing a great song, uh, rap lyrics, whatever. There's things you're going to figure out that they don't teach you in school just by doing it. Doing it. You just got to do things. That's, that's, the, that's the moral. I hope somebody's picking that up. Do things. Just do things and you figure them out as you do things. Math is one avenue of picking up that skill.